students at a prestigious high school in West Inglewood started the first day of school with a walkout. Yeah, this after a long time well respected educator was let go from Limblum Math and Science Academy. CBS 2's Muga Odigwe was there and spoke with some students and alumni. One way to describe these students, passionate. They are determined to make sure their former assistant principal, or Mama Eagle, as many of them call her, is reinstated. It's undoubtedly not the way school officials wanted to start the first day of school. Dozens and dozens of Lindblom students walking out in protest. On the sidelines, parents and alumni cheering them on. Whoa! This all boils down to a letter the school community received from the newly hired principal, Abdul Mohammed. It said the school was, quote, saying farewell to assistant principal Karen Fitzpatrick Carpenter, who students call Miss Fitz. A follow-up email from the longtime educator said it was not her choice to leave. Ms. Fitz told CBS2 she's heartbroken the new administration brought in its own staff. This morning, students and alumni made their stance about that decision clear. We did have one assistant principal slot open, so he could have compromised and brought on one of his assistant principals while leaving Ms. Fitzpatrick Carpenter. We're voicing our concern. This is a lot of students out here today, and Mr. Muhammad is inside. He knows what's happening. He knows what's going on. He knows that the student body is not on his side. This is their mom. She raised them. The reason why you see all this limb bloom culture, you hear all this swoop, you hear all of this passion is because people like her instilled it into us. Now those students walked out of the classroom for about an hour and then they went back inside so as not to miss first period. They tell me they also signed a petition and plan to speak up at an upcoming school board meeting, again asking that their former assistant principal be reinstated. In West Inglewood, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News. Now we reached out to CPS about the decision to replace Ms. Fitz as Lynn Bloom's assistant principal. They referred us to the very same statement that they issued last week, which says principals have the power to determine staffing. You can find that full statement on our website, cbschicago.com.